I've always just tried to push myself to see the world and, and explore. Eventually, I found myself really concerned about the fact that I was spending my time in the outdoors without doing anything beneficial for the world. I started adventure scientists believing that there would be thousands of people like me who love the outdoors and wish there was ways they could make a difference. We are a nonprofit organization based in Montana that mobilizes thousands of people to go out and collect scientific data for scientists who are using it to solve massive societal issues. If you can imagine thousands of people who are out hiking and skiing and biking and climbing around the world, collecting scientific data that has been requested by scientists that will help them solve problems, that's what we do at Adventure Scientists. We've got uh, about 8,000 people a month coming to our website asking how they can get involved. And we built this network by giving people in the outdoor community a way that they could make a difference with their time. We've collected the largest data set on Earth for microplastics. We sent out volunteers all around the world uh, to over 100 different countries to collect scat samples. We send these scats back to the lab at Harvard and this brilliant research team has been able to narrow the search for the genes responsible for antibiotic resistance down to less than 90 genes. We've just hiked our way into the Lolo National Forest. This is right on the edge of Western Red Cedars range. And so this is a super exciting tree for us to core and get some genetics out of. We're getting samples because as the climate changes and adapts, these trees that are right on the fringes of the habitat are likely to have genetics that could really help us mitigate uh, climate change and the effects of climate change on these tree species. And then the other reason is because we want to create methods for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to determine exactly where any piece of wood came from and whether it was legally or illegally harvested. When we are choosing projects, the most important to us is that there's going to be a tangible pathway from data collection to something being different in the world. The outdoors for me it makes me feel like there's some normalcy in a very chaotic world. To take my son out here and get in a hike with him and show him this incredible place, it's amazing. It just means the world to me to be able to expose him to this part that I love so much. This is a gift and a privilege to have this now and I'm not sure this will be here forever. We need to empower scientists with every single tool available on the planet to make them successful because our entire world and our entire livelihood depends on it. <laughs>